Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial. My name is Michael Novello and today I want to show you how you can trace an image or logo and use it to Blender to model it out. Now we are here in Photoshop. You can do this in any other software which you have. Uh, GIMP, Color Photo Paint, doesn't matter. The only thing we have to do here right now is to um, get a black poor black and white image and I do it with the black and white correction layer but first of all I want to get rid of this GM here so I create a new a new layer put it in the background fill it with poor white go to my image create a mask with a white brush, I mask it out. I use this technique, sure you can paint over with white, but uh, I'm using this technique because I don't want to lose my original. So I always can go back and I have my original. So now we need a black and white correction layer. I put all the values to zero because I don't want to have any gray scale tones, so all down. Then I save this file as a PNG file. You can use a JPEG, but uh, in JPEG there are sometimes are fragments uh, around the, the image, so I use PNG. I've done this before, that's because here the file exists. I save it, I overwrite it, and now we have to use another program named Inkscape. You can get Inkscape from the web, only type in the Google search Inkscape and the first link I think will do it. So let's go into Inkscape, we have a new document, now I'm going to drag and drop my image in here, and I position it into the middle of the document doesn't matter the middle or the top or button, it has to be in the document. So now we have to go to path, vectorize image, and then we have this um, dialog. Um, the default values will do, it, will do the work uh, for us right here. Um, sure, you can change this uh, values like you want if you have um, another. Uh, logo, a complicated image which is not traced so well. So, but for us here in this sample, the default values will do it. So I press OK, close this, and on the top I have now my traced image. On the background is my original bitmap. I delete that. And if you go to the vector handlers here, you can see it's all traced with vectors. When I move it, you can see it's a vector. So now we have to save this image as a SVG file. I save it. And now I have to go to Blender. In Blender, I get rid of the default cube. And the only thing I have to do is uh, file and import scale level vector graphic and pick up my image or my SVG file and I can see nothing. That's because the, uh, the SVG files always um, imported as tiny little things. You can zoom in and here we have it. As you can see the the origin point is here and our object is here so I correct this I press shift control A alt and C origin to, to geometry and now I scale it up and when you go into the, the edit mode you can see it's all made out of curves. Now I want to 
um, convert it into a mesh. So press Alt and C, mesh from curve. And in the edit mode with all selected I can now do extrude in set. And now we have a poor black because it's uh, it's a poor black material here. I delete this material, create a new one, and now you can see your logo. I smooth it out, and I put a edge split modifier on it, and now we have a perfect traced model. I think this is a fine little technique, which saves you a lot of work. Sure, you can load a background image and trace it uh, manually in Blender, but I think this method uh, saves a lot of work. And by the way, it's precise. So thank you for watching. If you like my t like my tutorial, uh, please like it under this video and maybe subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.